I thank the Sabha for inviting me to this auspicious event to mark the dedication of the founders of Arya Samaj in Fiji. We gather here today in remembrance of the founders who had laid the foundation for a dynamic organization that grew over the years in leaps and bounds. Ladies and gentlemen, I applaud the Sabha for this noble recognition of the founders of Arya Samaj and also the Reki Reki representative who mooted this idea at that gathering 14 months ago. These ideas are very important for the progression of any organization. So the contribution of such visionary leaders who through their foresight led the preservation of our heritage and religion for the generations to come. Your presence here this afternoon demonstrates the feeling which this occasion has sparked in everyone and made us remember our ancestors whose vision and teachings have helped in safeguarding our heritage to where it is today. Ladies and gentlemen, it's quite befitting that the commemoration to honor the founding fathers of Arya Samaj in Fiji is through an iconic monument that will preserve part of Fiji's history. Our ancestors, over 60,000 Girmitiyas, arrived in Fiji from 1879 to 1916. As descendants of indentured laborers, our history serves to inform us of the trials and tribulations of our ancestors. The dislocation from the homeland and adapting to new environment was painful and often atrocious. Despite challenges and a future filled with uncertainty, the forefathers of the Arya Samaj in Fiji chose to invest their time and energy in continuing with the heritage as well as in the education of the children. This is truly commendable and we all must never forget this. The founders in the middle of their turmoil had the vision of preserving and protecting our heritage. That is why it is very important that we pay homage to them. Ladies and gentlemen, Something that I notice, at least for us here in Fiji, the stories of our indenture history are not passed on to our children. I see this as a slow demise of our history. We need to bring this back. I will be working towards ensuring that our current and future generation do not miss this piece of history. And this can be achieved through heritage education which is essential so that one's heritage is not lost or forgotten. And this also includes the Solomon Islanders who are residing in Fiji, and we all know it as black birding. The commemoration of historical uh, monument is an earnest effort towards pre uh, preserving the history of indentureship. And I again commend the current leaders of the Sabha for this initiative that invokes emotional bonds and a sense of continuity. Monuments are created as part of a visual culture that will continually remind us of our ancestors who played a significant role in bringing and binding people together through our religious and cultural values. In those early days, Interested people used to meet at Mr. Mangal Singh's residence, as you have heard, to learn the teachings of Swami Dayanand Saraswati, the founder of Arya Samaj. As a group of young men, they showed astute leadership, and what they and their colleagues did is seen in the strength of Arya Samaj of Fiji today. Such legacies are priceless and will remain forever. 
On Christmas Day in 1904, this small group of people that included Shri Babu Mangal Singh, Shri Gaji Pratap Singh, Shri Nanku Sonar, Shri Bihari Lal, Shri Shudat Sharma, Shri Bas Rai, Shri Inayat Hussain, Shri Indra Narayan, and Shri Tikaram Verma met in Samambula to establish the Arasamaj of Fiji. They did this because they wanted to maintain their heritage and provide a platform for lifting the living standard from the inspiration they received from the teachings of Swami Dayanand Saraswati. It is remarkable how indentured laborers kept their language and culture alive despite the pressures of assimilation. Arya Pratinidhi Sabha of Fiji was established, as you have heard, in 1918 as a national body. The Sabha, as I understand, was the first organized entity for the indentured laborers in Fiji, representing 25% of Fijians of Indian origin. What makes the Sabha special is that it is a religious, social, cultural, and educational organization. As a faith-based organization, the Sabha's contribution to education has been immense. As a stakeholder in education, today it owns and manages 15 kindergartens, 16 primary schools, and six secondary schools, and a tertiary institution, which is the University of Fiji. The Sabha's involvement in education goes back to 1980, when the Sabha established Gurukul Primary School at Saweni in Lotoka. It is important to add that before this, the members of this Sabha conducted private night classes to teach Hindi as a language to maintain its cultural and social identity. The Sabha uses its cultural, religious, and educational arms to promote values of love, respect, tolerance, and harmony through festivals, discourses, and public gatherings. As a faith-based organization, the Sabha has, teach, has reached out to other forms, other faiths in Fiji, being a founding member of Interfaith Fiji, a noteworthy achievement indeed. I acknowledge and commend the work and achievements of this Sabha since its inception. Ladies and gentlemen, let us reflect for a moment on the vision of Arya Samaj in Fiji, which says it all, to evolve and educate. And I quote, a society where everyone is literate and conforms to acceptable moral, spiritual, cultural, and social values, unquote. You will all agree when I say that values are the cornerstone of a successful society today. It influences decision about what to protect or preserve and the way we represent our past, manage our present, and plan our future. What we take back from a legacy such as the Arasamaj is that culture is important in shaping the society we envision. I want to draw your attention to the role that leaders play in our society. These founders obviously believed that to take the organization forward, they must train more people and entrust the organization to them. And this success of the RSMAJ as an organization goes to their foresight. We often think that we are the best people to be the custodians of our organization, whether they are religious or others, which we are. However, unless we grow young talent and entrust them with responsibilities, we cannot guarantee that our legacy will continue. I understand that Arya Samaj is growing the young people and nurturing them into responsibilities of the organization. Arya Samaj is a very good example of the success of a faith-based organization in Fiji, and we must ensure that this legacy continues. Let me also acknowledge, acknowledge the good work that other faith-based organizations have done and are doing in the development of our country, in particular in the areas of education. Ladies and gentlemen, today 
I would like to pay tribute to all the founders of Aria Samaj in Fiji and the ad administrators who took the reign thereafter. We are grateful and humbled, and we are inspired by the commitment and dedication to continue the teachings of Swami Dayanand Saraswati. It is time for all of us to stand up proudly and salute them. This monument is our priceless heritage in the memory of our ancestors, and we must treasure, protect, and preserve. And we've got to preserve this for the future generation as it threads together heritage and layers of memories. I thank the Arya Pratinidhis of our Fiji for taking the very noble initiative of dedicating a monument commemorating the founders of Arya Samaj in Fiji to build our cultural and natural wealth. It is our responsibility towards the future generation and they have the right to learn and benefit from this legacy of the past. So once again, I thank the Samaj uh, for putting this monument up and it will be here for many, many years. So when the new generations or the future generations visit this place, they will know exactly who started the Samaj uh, in Fiji. And it will also inspire the young generation to do something of this nature, of this scale, at such a young age. Normally we say young people, yes, they are the leaders of future, but listening and reading the people behind R.S. Samaj, particularly a 22-year-old Bihari Lal who came from Punjab, and he also became uh, one of the founding members. It is inspirational, and we must always encourage our young ones to continue this journey for us, uh, for our ancestors, and for the future generation. Thank you very much. Thank you.